Hey there, Heretic. I'm Rishi Kular, Head of Product, and today I'm going to walk you through Heretic's infrastructure requirements. Let's get started. So here I am in Heretic's Help Center, and this is a great resource for articles on how you can use Heretic. For example, we have articles on installation and setup, analyzing contracts, how to administer contract review projects, the Heretic viewer, and more. In this case, I'm just going to go into the search bar, type in infra, and just click on the technical and infrastructure requirements article. Now I'm just going to go over this document and explain it to give you more context. So most of the questions we get around infrastructure requirements are related to servers and agents. And so Heretic does require one server dedicated to Heretic. Um, and as far as the number of agents you'll need, this really depends on how quickly you want OCR and analysis to complete. And so I'll go over this in a little bit, but each agent only requires one core and one gigabyte of RAM. So this means if you have a, an agent server with 64 gig, gigabytes of RAM and 64 cores, you can, you can add 64 Heretic Worker agents. Um, and the reason why this is powerful is that the speed of OCR and analysis scales linearly. And so I'll explain that in a bit as well. Um, and so with respect to these, these numbers, right, you want Heretic OCR and analysis to, to complete as fast as you need for your project's requirements. And so for Heretic OCR, one agent will OCR 600 pages per hour. And as mentioned before, this scales up linearly as you add more agents. So two agents will be 1,200 pages per hour. And so the way this works behind the scenes is that one agent is working on one page, um, and the second agent is working on the second page in the same document, right? And so if you have 10 agents, that means that 10 pages are being OCR'd concurrently. And what's nice about having these baselines is that it's fairly intuitive how to speed up OCR and analysis. For example, let's say you have 100 contracts that have around 50 pages each, and you know that you need your job to complete in around two hours. You can simply add four agents and run that calculation, and you'll know that your OCR job will likely complete within two hours. For heretic analysis, it's a little bit different. Instead of agents working at the page level, for heretic analysis, the agents are working at the document level. And so this means if you have 10 agents, you're working on 10 different documents in the data set at once, as opposed to 10 different pages within one document as for OCR. For heretic analysis, the number we have to share is 75 documents per agent per hour. But I did want to provide a little bit of context around this number. And so this was based on our testing of running the kitchen sink of heretic analysis at a data set. So when running every type of analysis that heretic has to offer, um, on average, it would take around 75 documents per agent per hour. But the on average is important because the variance in that number happens with the size of the documents. And so for example, if you have 100 documents that are all extremely large, um, it's gonna take longer than it would if all of those 100 documents were very small. And so that's the sort of lever in terms of the factor that goes into this number is the, the size of the documents, as well as the type of analysis you're running. So this 75 number was if you're running every type of analysis, but if you're just running one, you might get better, better speed numbers than 75 per agent per hour. Similar to OCR, this scales up linearly. So one agent is 75 documents per hour, but if you have two agents, you'll complete 150 documents in an hour. And so as an example, let's say you have 100 documents and you know you want the analysis job to complete in 20 minutes, you can simply add four agents and you should be good to go. As far as how to add these heretic agents, you can simply come up into the search bar, type in agents. The agent type is Heretic Worker Agent. And as far as this number, again, this is the uh, related to the size of your agent server. So if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, 
we would recommend adding 16 agents and, and just maxing it out so that your heretic OCR and analysis are that much faster for, for all of the users. And lastly, I did want to provide a high-level overview of the analysis workflow in Heretic. And so this really boils down to three steps. Step number one is running relativity imaging. So most of our clients are doing this via imaging sets, although you could also mass image documents via the relativity mass action on the doc list. Uh, but again, most, most clients use imaging sets. So if I type into the search bar, imaging sets, you would create a new imaging set and add the save search that you would like to image. And then once all those documents have images in relativity, you can proceed to step two, which is heretic OCR. For heretic OCR, simply come to the heretic OCR set tab, create a new heretic OCR set. And here you'll simply add your, your data source. And these documents, of course, must have images in order for Heretic OCR to run. And on this, on this screen too, you can decide if you'd like to auto-rotate images or auto-flatten columns, so for example, double column contracts. And again, the number of agents you've added in for the, on the agent server will determine how, how fast this, this job will complete. One question some clients ask is, do I need to run Heretic OCR or can I run OCR from some other tool? And the answer is you could run OCR with another tool, but we highly recommend running Heretic's OCR because when you do, you get all the really nice benefits in the Heretic image viewer. For example, the ability to click on sections in the left pane to navigate the image or click on data points to navigate to those data points or select text on the image to send to a field. Because you're running Heretic OCR and we are sort of mapping the position coordinates of the text to the image, we can provide all those benefits, but we can't provide those benefits if you run a, an outside OCR tool. And so let's say you have 100 contracts and you've run relativity imaging on those 100 documents and you've run Heretic OCR on those 100 documents. The final step, of course, is heretic analysis. And we have a, a lot of really great resources in the Help Center on heretic analysis. So I'd recommend coming here and checking out the Analyzing Contracts with Heretic section. And we have articles on an overview of, of that workflow I just described. Um, and then also how to run every individual type of analysis in heretic. So we already have a lot of great resources here. So I am going to stop here and say thank you so much for tuning in to this video, and we'll see you next time.